You can play you like a drum Baby, you like a drum Hey everybody, it's Lala Monet and I'm back again with another video. So today's video is a bump update. Let me see, hold on. And if you guys are interested in watching the rest of my video, just keep watching. So guys, as you guys can see, I gathered these two swings. These are the same exact swings my sons used to have. And his that he had was actually a different color, but they're similar. Don't mind what I have on, cause I know I look like I'm in a choir or something, but it's all right. It's hot, I can't, you know, oh well. So anyways, guys, I inserted my last ultrasound, which was the recent one that came up on that Friday I was telling you guys about. And I'm so, like y'all just don't understand how irritated I am because I can't even, well, I won't even find out my gender until two weeks from now because my last appointment was actually um, a concern to my OBGYN because when I went in, they took my blood pressure and then she never told him right away my, what my, you know, blood pressure was, but right afterwards, I was getting my ultrasound done. I was so ready. I was like, yes, 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 I'm gonna see my gender. I'm so freaking happy. So now I get to go shopping. And then sis come walking up in there talking about some, um, sir, be advised, something, something, something. Da, 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 over da, da, da. and he was just like what he's like okay so he did a quick little a quick little like and he pointed at something and then it wasn't the gender like I'm not stupid this is my second pregnancy so I'm not dumb that he was trying to show me the gender because you know I could have been like oh it's a girl oh it's a boy you know so I'm like okay like is that it for the ultrasound he's like yeah we need you to go get blood work done and we need to uh monitor your this and are you taking your prenatals and are all these questions and i'm like prenatals um um you know a little bit he was just like well you need to take your prenatals because as far as i'm concerned your iron levels are very high your blood per i'm not Okay, chill. So now I have to take my prenatals every day. He wants me to take them two times a day. Of course, I should be listening to my OB, but the way, the way they make me feel, I can't. I can't just, I can't just be making myself feel sick. So I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna just do him a favor by taking them, but I'm not gonna take them two times a day because I don't want to be sick all day because I do feel sick sometimes, but maybe if I overeat or if I don't eat, then I get sick. So the reason why I have these two swings behind me is because they're like for a girl baby or a boy baby, so it doesn't matter. It's not like it's a blue swing or just a pink one to where if I had a girl, she has to be in a boy swing, or if it was a boy, he has to be in a girl swing. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, it doesn't matter, but then it does because, you know, you don't want your child growing up paying attention to little things that might do something different to their brain and have them think it's okay to have a dress on if they're a boy in, I don't know. I mean, who am I to judge? I'm just saying, but anyways, so he still gave me an ultrasound to post for you guys. But he didn't give me my gender reveal so that I will be happy or let's just say that happier about it because I am currently I'm currently 19 weeks. So I am in my second trimester. And the reason why I didn't tell you guys about the first trimester is because 
when I say I was so emotional about this pregnancy, like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> it may be a little disturbing to some people, so please don't comment down below coming for me because, you know, it's my life. And if I feel that way, then hey, your opinions matter to you, but they probably wouldn't matter to me. So I didn't want to have a girl because I'm a girl and I know what it's like going through things. And when you have nobody, sometimes it's just so freaking hard to live because you have you have friends, but you know, you, you gotta, well, you understand they have a life outside of being friends with you. So you can't just call them. I mean, you're supposed to call them all the time when you have problems. You're supposed to talk to them. You're supposed, but sometimes when you feel like you need them, they're not there. I mean, yes, you could go to your parents, but sometimes you don't share the same thing with them unless you're like this. Me, I'm like this with my mom, but for her, for her right now, she's like, her knees is like messed up. So she's stressed out about cause she just moved and all this stuff going on her old apartment. She couldn't clean it because her knees was swole. She couldn't walk. So I did it. I did it for my mom because I love her. And yet I don't want to stress her out. So I'm just like, I'm not even going to tell her about anything because, you know, I don't want her stressing about me because, you know, I don't even live with my mom. So I don't want her to be blowing me up every day, telling me stuff and, you know, so it's not like I could really sit and tell my mom. I mean, usually when them days come, trust me, sis, trust me, guy. I go in there and I'll, as soon as I start talking to her, I start crying. That's how you know, like, it's serious. Like, that's how you know it be serious. And at that point, that's where I break down because, you know, I'm pregnant. Like, my emotions and everything is going up and going down, left and right, left and right. Not only that, I have a toddler. He's two years old. He's about to be three the end of this year. And at the end of this year, I will be due with my little baby. And it's so tough for me right now because I don't even know. So what I was going to tell you guys in the last video, if you guys watched that video, if you haven't, check it out. I will be adding it in the description down below. <sighs> so what I was going to tell you guys is that I, I really, 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 really don't want a girl. But if I have a girl, so what? At the end of the day, she may be, she may be become my best friend. She may become something that I wish I always had. Cause I'm not gonna lie, when I was young, I did say I wanted a boy and a girl. Guess what? I had my son first, and who knows? This may be my daughter. So, you know, after the emotions and me fighting a lot, I came to a thought and I said, hmm, maybe if I am having a girl, that's why. Cause I remember I said that. So, hey. Be careful what you ask for because when it happens, you may be happy or you may not. And another thing is like me being in the second trimester, I'm still going to work. It's not tough because they're being extremely, extremely so sweet to me. But I would rather, you know, move around, multitask. I mean, but... I'm not complaining because if I had to work regular, I would probably die. <laughs> like I am a security guard. So think about that. And right now with all this Black Lives Matter stuff going on, it's just ridiculous. And people was like coming after me and I'm just like, check me out. I'm not over here in none of y'all business. Ain't nobody said nothing about it. So how about you come here and act like you want to visit whoever you're trying to visit in the hospital and not come over here and act like this because I'm black or because black lives matter because that has nothing to do with your family. So therefore, be normal, act normal, act like you want to visit. So, I don't know about shopping wise. Like I have not got diapers. I will be getting them soon. Um, I'm giving myself a little bit of time to think about it because with my son, I kind of got like, I kind of got like every brand of diapers because, you know, when people give you stuff, you just take it. I mean, why not? It's free. But then again, I'm like putting them on my son and, you know, certain brands make your kids break out. And I'm like, see that right there is what's going to get me. So now I know probably what my baby may like. So I have to figure all that out. 
But if you guys are interested in watching another video about my pregnancy journey, don't mind me. This pregnancy is better than my son's because I started his journey on YouTube and then I, well, I didn't erase it. I made it private for myself because at the end of that pregnancy, I ended up having a C-section and I was scared. So the only people I had to support me was my boyfriend, which is my son's dad, and then my mom. So, yeah, and like my braces and being pregnant, it's not even that bad because they don't even do nothing for me. Like if my teeth was messed up, she told me, she's like, if you had like bad teeth to where they were like crowding and this and that, then it will be different for your procedures because you're pregnant and I'm like, true that makes sense I was like well cool you know I have nothing to worry about because now I have like maybe I have like three months. I have probably like three months left on my braces I will update you guys about that because I don't know because I forgot but I do know I have them in for a year so hey and I'm not out of breath I just with this pregnancy, I have like symptoms. Like I did have dry a dry mouth, but they were telling me it's probably because I would um, I was close to being diabetic, like gestational diabetes. But so far, my OB hasn't said that then. But the doctor I was going to before I met my OB was like, "Yeah, you're like this close to having gestational diabetes." And I'm like, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I kind of feel like I did because. I not only feel like I was gaining weight too soon, I also felt lazy. I was eating like, yeah, I guess you can say bad because I mean, I was eating out every day because I love burgers and fries. So that was my problem. So I slowed down, I started cooking more at home. I buy more fruits. Right now I'm trying um, the Armour drink. If you guys don't know what it is, just Google it. It's it's a very different kind of drink. I've tried vitamin water, regular water. I've tried filter waters. I've tried pretty much everything to hydrate myself, but me drinking water, I get tired of it. I have, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I got tired of it. So I was like, well, what does the armor water do? Would it hydrate me more? Or would it just give me the same thing water would? Honestly, right now, I can't say because I barely started drinking it. It's been like a week now. And now that I know that I like it, I will be going to the store purchasing a lot of it. I mean, during my whole, what, second and third trimester, I could drink it. The only thing I'm really, really, really scared about is not the breastfeeding part, just my breasts getting huge because my son, okay, I had a C-section. And they still, you know, they still offer you to breastfeed the first day because that's the baby's first moments. And, you know, if you don't know, please do your research because I'm not a professional. So I was just like, okay. The next day came, my boobs got huge. I'm talking about huge, heavy, leaky, sore, everything that you can think of and I still breastfeed my son because I love him and I need him to get everything that he need and of course breastfeeding to me was very relevant I didn't have to get up in the middle of the night all I had to do was pull it out I mean because I would have a bra and you know you could just take anyway so well my son it was really simple this time I just I'm so scared my boobs is gonna get bigger like as far as when I get milk after the baby come and I'm so scared because it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Like, yes, you can pump, you can massage, you could take a shower, you could do whatever, and it's still gonna hurt. And I pray on this pregnancy that I don't have to get another C-section. There's nowhere near that, okay, some people say that when you have a C-section, you're supposed to get another one. That's not 100% true. It could be 80%, it just depends on how your first pregnancy went. So if you had a high risk pregnancy your first time and you had a C-section, then the rest of your life you're gonna get C-section. But if you had no high risk and nothing went extremely wrong, you're able to have a V-back, which is what I'm going for. If it doesn't work out, hey, 
I know what it's like to have a C-section. I don't know what it's like to have a vaginal. So I'm gonna give it a try. At the end of the day, you know, God blessed me. And now that I've noticed that, because people out here can't have kids or they do have kids and they neglect them or they just, you know, keep having them because they, I guess like, I don't know. And then there's people who just want to so bad. Like they try everything they could to have kids. And I gave my everything to you guys because I don't know. I wanted a kid, which was my son. This one, this is what happened. So the video I was trying to tell you about, I got so, you know, I, I went over the words, but I was supposed to be switching birth controls. I had the Mirena IUD. I have not ever gotten pregnant on the IUD. So I said, hmm, it was making me go through a lot of things. Like, um, I felt like I was getting depressed, gaining a lot of freaking weight. Um, I had periods still, like every single month. They lasted about seven days. I had extreme cramps, like I did not like it. I left it, so I had the birth control Marina for a year and 11 months. And you know, after a year, I was like, oh, it should get better. They said it would get better. So I'm like, hmm, all right, I won't get pregnant. So I was like, yes, I just had my son. So I was like, oh, I need to get on birth control. They told me about that one. I was, I was hesitant because you hear about all the stories about what bad can happen. But then again, it all depends on how your body is and how your body would take it and adjust to it. So I was like, hmm, after one year and 11 months, them cramps, they were like down here, they hurt it. The, the length of it was too freaking long for me. Uh, feeling sad, maybe I had anxiety, maybe I had all these things I didn't know I had and duh, I could have told them about it. I didn't want to because I didn't want them to be like, oh, well, we could give you medication. Like, I don't want to be on medication. That's the same thing as being on birth control. I only got on birth control because I just had a kid. Same thing for this one. But I'm so scared because I'm going to try another new freaking birth control. And that's what I was supposed to do before I got pregnant. So I went to the appointment and I was like, hey, I want to switch birth control. She was like, why? I just blended on the cramps and the in the length of the period. I never said it was because I felt depressed and all that. I didn't tell one girl that. Now, when I went back again, when they were gonna remove it, I told her, I told her the truth. I said, because this, 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 and the other. And she was like, yes, a lot of girls, they feel the same, they went through that. And I'm like, why you didn't tell me this at first? But they said, oh, because you know, it just depends on your body. So I was like, true, I can't even be mad at you. So then she was like, well, have you had, I mean, this is a TMI. This is kind of like a personal thing, but I'm gonna let you guys know. She was like, well, have you had sex three days or this week before we're gonna take it out? I told her, yes, I have for the past three days. Like, and then she's like, well, have you gotten a period? I didn't know. Honestly, I didn't know. Cause like I said, on the on the birth control, I still had a period. Sometimes like closer to the end, it felt like it was not seven days. It felt like it was only four days. Then it was five, then it was seven. And then it just was two days. And I was like, two days? It never been like that. So I was like, I told her, I said, yeah, I had a period. She was like, oh, okay. She's like, well, how long was it? I was like, it's only two days. She was like, uh, that might be spotting for pregnancy. I'm like, come again? She was like, yeah, that might be, yeah, you might want to get checked to get, you might want to see if you're pregnant. So I was like, girl, boo, I know I'm not pregnant. Okay, I lied. I think I was because my boobs was feeling funny. And since I breastfed with my son, I felt like milk was coming out. I kept like, oh my God, but it was nothing there. And then I didn't get a period after that. So I was like, I was like, dang, I better go do it. So I went, I got tested for pregnancy or I got, yeah, I got tested for pregnancy. 
they, they, they said I was one point away from being pregnant, which sounds stupid, but it goes by these numbers when you're pregnant, like your HCG levels. And she was like, no, you're not pregnant. I was like, oh, thank God. So I started counting up the weeks and I'm like, okay, well then my period should come. And if it doesn't, then maybe. And I was like, cause they took out the birth control. So I was like, hmm. I was like, no, something's not right. Oh, maybe my body just getting used to it. I was like, I'm not gonna worry. And then boom, it freaking hit me guys. I went back, well I called them and I said, hey, you know, is, this, is it normal to not have a period after you guys take it out? She's like, well, you told us she had a period. I said, yeah, it was two days. She was like, did you get tested? I said, yeah, it was negative. She's like, how long has it been? I'm like, only a week. She was like, well, wait. She's like, give it another week or two, or even three. So I waited three weeks. And then three weeks later, I went to an OB for him to verify it. I didn't look pregnant, like my bump, it was not even this big. It was just like bloating, I guess, to me. And I was like a little nausea, so I was like, oh my God, I'm pregnant. And I was like, all I wanted to do was switch my birth control. That's all I wanted to do. And then I was just like, oh, I'm not gonna worry. You know, everything's good. I'm gonna stay positive. And he freaking comes back and he's all like, oh, well, I'm gonna have my assistant help you that at all. I'm like, I'm like, all right. She comes, she had a paper. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm like, no. Oh my gosh. So she, she little telling me, Yes, you're seven weeks and two days. I'm like, seven weeks. Hmm. I'm like, so right after they take my birth control out, baby girl, I was pregnant. It didn't even take me like a month. After a month is kind of where I was like, I was pregnant in a month. So I was like, what the? F had me thinking. It had me thinking so much. I went through a whole trimester thinking because I'm like, I'm like, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Now I'm starting all over again. <laughs> and it's so crazy to me because, you know, I really, I don't know, y'all. It's just crazy. I'm just trying to take all of this in. I'm trying to take it in. I'm trying to accept it. At this point, second trimester, I've said, I accepted it. I can feel the baby move a lot. And I'm gonna show you guys my ultrasound and you guys tell me what do you think it is. I'm not necessarily gonna do like a gender reveal with like family and friends because the pandemic going on with the corona, Black Lives Matter. And because I don't have that many people to support me and I don't wanna look stupid and I also don't wanna embarrass myself, so I don't care. Same thing with my son, I never did a gender reveal. I kind of just asked the OBG way, what am I having? We did ultrasound, boom, it was a boy. So I'm gonna be doing the same thing with this pregnancy. Now to my mom and them, I might give them like the gender reveal balloon that I could pop because they all want me to have a girl and if it's a girl, they're gonna be so freaking happy. If it's a girl for me, I'm gonna cry because now I'm happy, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but you guys, you get it. If you know what it's like being in my shoes, you wanted a boy, got a girl. You wanted a girl, got a boy. That's how I feel right now. So, yes, guys, this video is very, 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 very long. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment. And don't, 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 don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Because, you guys, I am back on my YouTube I'm going to be finishing off my braces because like I said, in three, three months or less, I will be finished with those. And it's all about my baby, <laughs> my baby bump that is soon to be bigger than this. Like I said, I am 19 weeks and one day. No, I didn't tell you I'm one day, but I'm 19 weeks and one day, which is the second trimester. <sighs> So if you guys want to in depth about my symptoms or whatever else about my pregnancy, just comment down below. Don't be scared. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Bye, guys.
Mm-hmm. Like that all morning. Yeah, that's good. <laughs>